Insight should now be experiencing the peak heating rate. After 10 years of dreaming, designing, and testing. My heart was basically, I think, just stopped beating for seven minutes. I don't know if that's healthy or not, but, uh, but then when we, we got the indication of parachute deployment, which was an absolutely terrifying thing to think about, we got that positive, and then listening to Christine Soleil call out as we got closer and closer to the surface, every time she made a call out, you know, the hairs on the back of my neck would start rising a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Touchdown for the Mars InSight lander on Monday, as suggested by this animation. Touchdown confirmed. <laughs> then, InSight's first photo from its new home, the Elysium Planetia. Using a two-meter robotic arm, a seismometer, and other instruments, InSight will dig a hole five meters deep so it can record so-called Mars quakes and calculate just how hot the red planet's inner layers get. They want to understand why Mars, which once may have been habitable by life, is no longer. NASA scientists say this data will help them understand more about Mars' origins and perhaps about the Earth's as well, and boost U.S. efforts to get humans on Mars by the 2030s. We can actually begin to uh, estimate, you know, which ones might be habitable and which ones uh, maybe not habitable based on some of the geophysical understanding that we'll get uh, just by looking at Mars. The liftoff of the Atlas V. If sending InSight to Mars was the hard part, one NASA scientist says it's only going to get harder. But that first photo will be a big help. Everyone gathered around the very front and was immediately deciding where could we place instruments and this is a great indication. We were all certain that that first image would help us determine how difficult of a job we would have in placing the instruments and I'm very happy that it looks like we'll be able to uh, do it quite easily, we hope. The payoff is already coming in. A second photo taken by one of two mini communication satellites that flew within sight. This and the prospect of future discoveries have these scientists celebrating before they get back to work. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.